in today's episode of Crafty Friday, I'm going to show you how to make a tin can lantern. This is a recycled project, so I'm hoping that a bunch of you are excited for it. You don't need many materials at all, and most of you should have the stuff that I'm showing. If you want to see more recycled projects or more tin can projects, because I have a lot of tin cans left from the tin can challenge I did a while back. You can watch that video if you haven't yet, link in the description bar. If you do want to see more videos kind of like this, then just go ahead and click the thumbs up button. And if you enjoy the videos that you see on my channel, then please click subscribe so you can see my videos pop up every week in your subscription box. Now without further ado, let's get into the project. If you want to make a lantern, you'll need a tin can, a hammer, and some nails. I'm also using a piece of paper which I'm wrapping around the can and cutting to size. This paper, once cut, is going to be where you draw your design. So if you don't want to plan anything out and just hammer dots freehand, go ahead. But this makes it a lot easier, at least to start off with. So I am doing this kind of starry design which I think will be really pretty. If you do choose to use the design template, go ahead and tape it around your can. Then place a nail on one of the dots and hammer it through the can. Just be careful that you don't hammer your fingers in the process. And you're going to repeat that step for every single dot on your template. It's going to take a while, but it will turn out really cool at the end. And I know that some people have filled their can with either wet sand or ice to make it easier to hammer through. I would recommend trying that because it took me a while to hammer each time. I actually decided to ditch my template about halfway through, so I used it for the inner part of the star, but around the border, I did that all freehand. You can choose to stop here, or if you want to make it look more finished, then you can apply a couple coats of spray paint to the outside of your entire can. I'm just using a metallic one to cover up some of the writing on the can and just make it look more shiny. Once the paint was completely dry, I hammered a couple holes at the top of the can and I'm going to take some wire and make a handle. All you have to do is just cut the length that you want and bend the ends of it when you put that into the holes and it will be a little carrying lantern. Finally, you'll of course need some sort of flameless candle to put inside your can and make it come to life. I mean, without a light inside, it's kind of just a can with holes in it. It does look nice during the daytime, but we all know the real magic happens after you turn off the lights. I think it would be great to use as room decor, maybe to hang up somewhere in your house at night, or if you have an outdoor party, maybe a cookout with your family, then you could just kind of put that somewhere around. It would just look really pretty. If you end up making your own tin can lantern, then please use hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram to show me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed recycling some cans. Like I said at the beginning, if you want to see more recycled projects, just let me know. You can leave some requests. Be sure to check out all of my links in the description box below. If you add me on Twitter, I like to tweet with you guys and, you know, have a little conversation sometimes. My Twitter name is Sarah Lynn T, as well as my Instagram name. And then I have a Facebook fan page and a Pinterest. So check me out on those pages. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye! 
Here are all the awesome photos that you guys sent in of your crafts using hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram. Remember, if you are a private account, I cannot see it, so you'll have to let me know in the comments that you sent me a direct message on there or something. But anyway, thank you guys for sending your photos in. I love seeing what you guys create. Leo, what are you doing? Get the hammer. Get the hammer, Leo. Go. Get it. Get it. Get it, Leo. Leo, get it. 